But take the thirties. That take too long. Thirty. I would have liked to got the twenty nines, but uh, we need to get the twenty nines, so we took the thirties. The twenty eight to the twenty nines is where they um, initiated activity on the um, offer and drove the market up to the I period, J period highs, J I period highs. So we got thirties. Yeah, I actually made an error on this uh, comment I made when I took the thirties. When I said that's where they hit the bid, I looked at the bid ask footprint, and that's the column, yes, where they started to hit the ask, but the uh, ask was really initiated back in the 24 25 area on the uh, footprint total volume chart. There's a block of uh, five price, five prices from 23.75 to 25. That's the area I should be long from. Well, this is the area we just spoke about down here in the 23s, 24s. This is where um, any buying should have occurred, not in the 30s. We'll take a look uh, and see if we can better our position. Well, we had a terrible trade earlier. Why not try uh, try again here? That uh, One of the lessons learned, absolutely, was when you see passive trade, it's important to wait long enough to see if that passive trade becomes initiative where they hit the offer, hit the bid after uh, on the limit trade activity if has occurred. See, they did that here, you know, but there's a limited window for observation, you know, within a minute. I prefer to pick it up on a retracement. Sometimes I pick it up here and I will get the point and a quarter, two points. Sometimes, uh, most of the time I do. Most of the time I don't get my second target to also. Usually that occurs later on when we retest the area. They take the initial entries out and then the market runs in the anticipated direction. So, with that being said, I would like to think I haven't missed the opportunity to get the 24s. And I'm sure if it comes down to the 24s, you got to be relatively quick too. Selling pressure, they hit the ass. A sure opportunity to take the 27s. Uh, it's just, I think I rather would have had a limit down here where I actually was speaking about the um, initiative activity coming in. Look at that, it's 28, 29. You know, that's freaking ridiculous. We had the area called right the first time never got an opportunity to get in once the uh, activity hit the ask, drove the market five points higher. There's a five point trade. Amazing. I almost forgot we were still long on the 30s. Well, we offset our first target at 1331 and a quarter. We didn't wait for 1332. Uh, we'll do that when we're a little more stable in mind and uh, back, at our, back in the swing of things. Well, we didn't hit our target at 35 like we uh, hardly ever do. And it looks like we're going to hit our stop at 30, which we regularly do. They haven't clicked 30 yet, but they uh, got down to 30 and a quarter. We'll uh, stand by our target at 35 and stand by our stop at 30. Well, here they're going to take our break-even stop out at 30-30. There it is, 30-30. We're out. Uh, couldn't get to our target five points above. Uh, we have a lot of things to we have a lot of things to reassess. We'll see uh, where we go. I got to stop a cap fight now. Well, the market just has zapped me of all my energy. I don't even feel like getting back in here. It's probably better not to trade at all at this point. We're going to pause the video, though. Take a break. And look at this. As soon as the market drains you of all energy of not to get back in a trade, it hits the target. That's freaking amazing. I mean, it's just an amazing phenomenon. Amazing, amazing. See ya. See ya. Well, we're going to wrap this video and um, fix some software. The cash market just closed. Uh, it's been bouncing around from 30 to 37. Um, should have had our second target filled in that trade. But even if I would have got back in at 30, which is just a few minutes ago, I could have got my five points. But it rested, took a break. I'm going to think about some things, uh, write some uh, issues on the snippets, and uh, 
see you tomorrow at the open.